In this video, we'll be working out which is the better value by comparing rates. And in the first question, we're talking about different size tins of beans and their costs to work out which is better value. And the first question that needs answering is, will we use a rate of grams per dollar or will we use dollars per gram? Now, I'm going to put forward the suggestion that grams per dollar is better because we're going to get a nicer answer. The 200 gram tin is pretty much a, a, about a dollar, so that's fairly close to 200 grams per dollar. It's going to be easy to compare that with other numbers because of the size. So let's go with grams per dollar. So for the, for the first size tin, which is 200 grams, uh, we've got um, the grams per dollar rate is going to be 200 grams over 0 0.98 dollars, which comes out at 204.08 grams per dollar. For the second size tin, the 575 gram tin, the rate of grams per dollar is going to be 575 grams over $2.85. So the grams per dollar here comes out at 201.75 grams per dollar. The better value is going to be the one that gives you more quantity for your dollar. So the 200 gram tin is the best value. We've got a similar scenario here except um, we've got uh, renter cars. And we've got days and an amount of money. So our rate could be dollars per day or it could be days per dollar. Now I'm going to suggest this time that dollars per day, which could be called the daily rate, would be the best way to compare. So based on the nine day, our daily rate is equal to $780 over nine days. And that comes out at $86.67 per day. The other daily rate is $1,150 for 14 days. And that comes out to be $82.14 per day. So the one that's going to be, to be the best value, I'll just move this across. The one that's going to be the best value is the one that's going to cost less per day. So that that would mean that this one here is the best value.